Hi, Bob here. June uh, uh, June 4th, 2013. I have another ion engine. And uh, this is fairly light. The entire assembly. That's a support rod, the emitter, and pulse generator, and ground. This whole assembly it weighs in at 70 gram, which is pretty light. And uh, we have the plastic nose cone. This one happens to be black. It doesn't seem to matter. The color. And we have the barrel housing, which is just a connection for my wires. This is the outer cone. Four inch laminated aluminum in the center. Two outside paper. Lamination setup. The same is for the cylinder emitter. The cylinder emitter is a three inch and right in here is the two coil air core pulse generator. I just want to try this setup. It's not real fast but it starts every time, works in a real wide, uh, the wide, uh, all the, clear up to 70 percent humidity and on down and it works best, I found out, with this 3-inch three, three ground. When I say this is 3 inches, it's because of the outer diameter here. And the distance between this edge of the 4-inch emitter cone and this 10 inches. And uh, that seems to be the, where it wants to operate the best. Now remember, with the, with the uh, this type pulse generator, there's a small gap required between the the uh, dome of the Van de Graaff generator and the pickup terminal, which is the power supply to the rotating system and thus to the engine. Well, let's start it up and see how it's going to run. All right, I'm sure you can hear the Van de Graaff operating. And as you can see, it picks up right away, but it just... It stays right in the, um, it's a, it's a bump. Yeah, 10, R, 10 RPM is the best. It will get up to 12, but it just seems to hang right in there at 10 RPM, and I just let it, I, I tried it, I spent about a week playing and adjusting and then, it just seems to fall in that range, and that's it. It's just a combination of the, the parts that I use, the components. and uh, But it does start and does operate, and it's very constant. I've run it as long as 20 minutes. It doesn't seem to vary much at all. And uh, that, that that's about it, as far as the... I don't know if it's up to six yet. It takes a while. But it'll get going. It isn't a lot faster than yet, I'll tell you that. But it always goes. And, and it's the higher velocity you can get, the, better, the happier I am. But I also look for consistency. And uh, this has very, been a very consistent engine. It's... Uh, just something I wanted to try this configuration with this type pulse generator does and I really think the by fire when they're set up right do a better pulsing job than the two wire air core stock type but this type is very light and it works the by fire are heavier just by the construction and the material used. And I do use more wire in them than I do in these. This is a, this particular uh, pulse generator only has, the coils are only consisted of four winds each, which is pretty small. I, that's the fact, it's the, the least amount of wire I ever put in one that I know of. Now I'm just gonna, I just pushed it backwards. We'll, we'll show you that it will catch up with itself, stop, and reverse it back to its normal direction.
but you see because of the real low thrust it it'll go backward quite a while but it's it'll it, it'll it will stop and go the other way I pushed it too hard almost to the stopping point and the brakes are on there we go now she's going back the other way so you can see that there is thrust in the unit if it wasn't any thrust being developed at all it would move in this direction it is now going I just started playing with the backward spin thing just 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 so you can see that there is so the viewer can see that there is thrust in these units it ain't a lot it is not a lot and they vary from unit to unit some units are much better like I have a, a setup that I made at one time I have a it's on the, it's on my uh, in my video catalog on my channel and I got that up to 45 inches a second and this one's only going about 19 inches a second so it's pretty it's, in fact it's the slowest one but I have found out too that the larger the, the emitter cones they don't go as fast I've not been able to get them up to any great speed. They perform well though. And uh, as you can see, this one is uh, just chugging right along. So if you could, you could under you maybe you can uh, make the leap forward if you could understand that this could operate in outer space where you have uh, zero drag and you have no gravity this thing would perform quite well it's not like a rocket motor but it does work after all these are only proof of concept designs I like to play with gives me something to do all right I'm going to throw that up on the channel, let you look at it. Talk to you later.